hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video in this video i'm back again with another video you know okay in this video i want to talk about this thing i think it's a reaction video about what's trending online and about nigerian people family you know deporting you know something like that that they're in uk something like that and other things that were going on about some other countries too i want to share my own perspective like what I think about this thing entirely, to my own knowledge, you know, to my own knowledge and experiences, I feel like I want to ask a lot of questions like, why is it that Nigerians are always interested and they're always interested and willing, wishing to travel all over, anywhere, anywhere? Because I'm very sure there is nowhere you will go that you're not seeing Nigeria, you know? It's good to explore, you know, traveling, mingle with people also will make you to be exploring, you know, some kind of things like that. But some people deliberately just wish, I don't know how I'm going to just explain this to make you understand. Some people just wish intentionally just to leave this country like without doing anything at hand as well. I thought I already said something about that thing already. You know, if you are traveling abroad, so many people are abroad that are homeless. Yeah. If you're traveling abroad, at least if you have something like you have something you are going to do there, you know someone there, you know that when you go there, you don't have any problem. That one is simple though. Some people will not have anything. They will not know anybody. You just wake up one day and say you are looking for a visa to leave this country. This country is not good. Is there any country all over the world? Like, is there any country all over the world that doesn't have challenges or their own, their own problem some people's own some countries own are even much more than nigeria own. but because i think nigeria are the most uncontented human beings on earth yeah i mean nigeria i said that because i had a lot of people you know <laughs> i had a lot of, like we are mingling together and with, we are with each, each other. Like, you know, some people are like some kind of people that were like suffering and smiling. Like, they love suffering. They will still be smiling and still be defending themselves and still be like, hmm, we are doing this, we are doing that, we are doing this, you are doing that, you know, something like that. But I don't know the reason why. You know, so, so many people are also in, let me just open everything up. It's not, it's not something I'm supposed to be covering. You know what? I'm also talking about people that were in other African countries. Do you hate your country to the extent of running over, even for you to just leave Nigeria, it's all that's all your hints. It's just for you to leave Nigeria, for you to leave Nigeria, and that you'll just be going to another African country. Even you being between the haters, people that doesn't like you, you just be trying to be, you know that you are free in your own country, you can do anything. Like, it's not like, you should be doing bad things. Though. But what I'm saying is that you are free. If you want to say this, you will not say you should not say this. Like I saw some some Ghanaian people as well chasing Nigerian businesswoman away from the market because they, they said the rumor said that she was selling the goods in the air or something like that. That when she was selling it, she's selling it against the amount they are selling it, you know, something like that. But I think it's something you can actually just talk between yourself. If you are not, if there is nothing more there. So those people now gang up. You gang against a person that the person should leave your country. That person should be going to Nigeria or something. You know, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. They come to meet you in your country. You know what? And I'm confused about you being law-abiding as you always claim that you are law-abiding people. Are you law-abiding like that? Your law said that you should be ganging against people. That's not law-abiding. That's me, bully. That's who you are. You are bully people. You are men. How can you just gang up against the person? Because that person is not part of you. Hey, go to your country. She's selling against... That, that thing doesn't even seem like offense to me. Like, she's selling against what they are supposed to be selling. You're supposed to call that person. It's not like you have said, okay, we have been talking to her. She doesn't listen. You just take action. You know? You are ganging. You are doing this. You are doing that. You don't even call your own security to come and do what they're supposed to do. As the law abiding people you said you are. And you are ganging, chasing people, shouting. What's that? You let your heart speak. I don't know. I don't know. You know, there's something I'm trying to just figure out about this entire thing, about you Ghanaian people exactly. Because I don't know why 
every one of you, every one of you, in reality, forget about social media. You are like this both in on social media and in reality. Because that proves it. A lot of things have been proving it when they say, hey, they caught Nigerian Kenny, they chase Nigeria Kenny. You have never caught any other African country Kenny Kakan. Are you covering them up? Because Nigeria are the one you don't want to see. I'll keep saying it, you know. I said it that I will not stop talking about you. Keep on doing yourself. Keep on doing what you're doing. And I'll keep on doing what I'm doing as well. Yeah. So back to this discussion. Some Nigerian people are like, you just want to leave Nigeria for no reason. Either you are going to other African countries where they don't even like, where you are not even welcome. Just go there. You are the one that will give me them mouth to talk. You know, to be sincere. I think a lot of people just want to come to, want to leave Nigeria to go to other places, even if it's African country, because they just want to feel like, well, we need to leave home as well. We should learn more in other countries, you know, something like that. And so some people were like, eh, there is money there, there are things there, there are nothing here. And there, yeah, because they said they have this, because they said they have that. And Nigeria are not people that lies. Those people are people that will not even expose anything negative with it. They will not expose it. Even abroad, you, you may be hearing it, you know, but it's not like our own Nigerian people, our Nigerian YouTubers especially, when they heard anything like that, they will just come and be blogging and start it. Hmm. In Nigeria, they do this. In Ghana, they will not do that. In Ghana, they do that. In Ghana, they do that. What is in Ghana that they will not do? What is special about Ghana? You are human beings. We all are human beings. We have each other between us. The same way we have people that think like something I don't know. That's the same way Ghanaian are people that think the same way as well. Because I'm actually dealing with Ghanaian and Nigerian here as well. I can see their mentality. Yeah. So many people of Ghanaian mentality are possessed. They are possessed because the way they type, what they type, you will be imagining like, is it a person that, is it a five years old child that typed this thing? Because I, I don't know. I don't know what, how they think. I don't know what, man, I, I don't just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just feel like, this one is a five years old child or what? Because the way you think, you don't think, you don't talk like a mature person. Then you feel like, okay, there is something you are actually supposed to still learn from the video you do from this person. You're not, you're just, I don't know who you are, but I think I know who you are as well. You are that kind of person that is a childish, you are hacked childish, you are bully, you are violent. That's the three things Ghanaian like. Ghanaian know how to do best. Yes, you know how to do the childish, acting childish, violence, and also bully. That's all you know how to do. That's what you're actually good and perfect at. So, Nigeria will now wake up one day. So all you could actually think of is how to leave Nigeria, how to be tarnishing Nigeria so that people there can accommodate you, so that they can like you, so that they can feel like you are special, you are different. Ha, ah, this is going on in Nigeria. You will not talk about your personality like, okay, well, ah, this is what I do as well. I don't even want to face anything. I just want to, I just want cash. I just want anything that was like, that is already perfect. I don't want to work for anything. You don't, you will not tell them that one. So you now say anyway in Nigeria, mm, there is not this and there is not that. There's, there that you have, you are also seeing what there is no there, but you will not talk about that one. There is not this, there is not that. So I want to ask you a question: Nigeria living abroad, bad mountain Nigeria, and the judges, those judges that you guys went to meet, you are talking to that, and they are helping you and put palm oil, put adding salt, adding sugar to what you are saying. Well, they never even. Most of them, they have never ever in their life visited Nigeria before. So they will not be creating imagination. They will know, eh, yes, Nigeria. Because based on the rumor they are hearing. And also, are people that were like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe you. Are people also that were trying to pretend to you so that you can give them something, you know? They care about that same things they will just get immediately. They don't care about what will actually happen in the next, maybe the next future. They don't care about that one. Even what will happen tomorrow, they don't care about it. What will happen to Nigeria, they don't care. They don't be like, eh, I'm out of Nigeria already. You think you're out of Nigeria. If anything goes like people want to settle on their own, their own you think they don't know you that you're not part of them. And because you lived there for how many years, you're a citizen. Forget your blood. You are not their blood. You are not their blood. If you're not thinking about the progress, that all your mind is also like, the only way you can actually, you can use to make them like you, is by giving them negativities. 
it's by you throwing that negativity outside. You are all coward. Yeah, coward people. We have a lot of coward people in Nigeria. Yeah. It's not like there is nothing good in Nigeria, but they act as if... Do you know why they are coward? They act as if there's never anything that is good. Oh, Nigeria has never done anything good for them in their entire life. That is why Kama are always speaking. Yeah. Kama are always after you are fighting for what you are doing. Like, so you, you don't want to be truthful, like, right? You want to be like this, then mm, go ahead. Kama is out. <laughs> Kama is waiting for you. You now go and go and make that thing at the end of the day in the front. You'll not be shouting and, and they do this to a person, and a person did this, and a person did that. They wouldn't talk about what they do. They are the one that know what they did though. <laughs> they may not even remember what they did, or sometimes they may remember. But those people that were like pitying and be like, eh, it's not supposed to be this, it's not supposed to be. they will not know exactly what is going on. Because you don't have pure mind for this country, for this nation entirely. That's why you are also facing what is more than what what you shouldn't be facing. Like, you're also facing the very bigger, big, bigger, biggest challenges that you're not supposed to be facing because you don't have good intention. The question I want to ask you is that, is there any country in this world, under this world, that doesn't have challenges? Talking about USA, we have what is going on. UK, they have their home. Everywhere, all over the country, they have their own problems. They have their own problems. But you, you're not be making things feel like you're the only one. Like you're the only one. You're the worst one. You're the worst one. You'll be feeling like you're the worst. You're the worst. You're the worst. Why? we are actually hearing what is much more than what is going on here, actually. So we're facing what is much more than what Nigerians are facing. Yeah, I didn't say we shouldn't talk about it. We shouldn't just talk about it. Challenge our government to do something good, but this is not the right way for you to just be going outside and be tarnishing yourself for outsider. Is it the way forward? That is the question. Because I don't understand that. Is that the way forward? And ever since you've been doing that, what change? What change? Why don't you just change your mentality and the way you do things? Why you see that there's no way on that way? Change it to another way. That's just as simple as ABC. So. All is just because some people were used to suffering and smiling and acting like acting like everything was perfect, acting like everything is good. So <laughs> while they're actually silently suffering beyond what Nigeria is going through, they are suffering much more, more, more. more. The biggest challenges is facing them currently. But they will be acting all fine. Like, how oh, there's nothing going on. Hmm? We have light. We have this. You know, some kind of people like that. They have the biggest problem. The biggest problem. Yeah. Problem. Biggest problem. They had it. But because they will not be pretending for you, you guys will not be falling for them. I'll be like, hmm, there is nothing. Hey, that place is good. And they have light. They have light. They have light. If they have light, I don't have work. When you go there as Nigerian, are they going to give you work? They will not give you work. Because a trade have already consumed them all. So they will not give you work. So why they don't now give you work or tell me what are you now going to be using the light to do? When they are giving them save, like their save is the one they are giving what they are doing, they're giving job to. So how are you going to use that light that they use? What is the essence of that light for you? It's not useful for you either. So I don't just get I don't get you. I don't get you. Anyway, the moral of this, like what I can see as something to learn about this video is like I don't think there is any reason for you to be running away from your country because you feel like some place is better because they are seeing, you are hearing rumor that some place eh, is good. Is this? Do you know that there are so many countries that Nigeria are far ahead, more, more, much better than? But because of the online shout of eh, Nigeria is no, people are feeling like Nigeria is not that good. It's not good at all. That's what their imaginations is exactly. They're saying like it's not good at all. And in those countries that they are branding online. I don't know if those people are actually paying them to be brand, <laughs> to be branding them, giving them good name when they are not actually deserve it, when they don't deserve it. And they are boring, they are actually keeping a lot of secrets that are about the problems they have. They are keeping it underneath. So they are not trying to show you the good parts. And you're not be hurting as if there is no good. Even though those good parts that those people were seeing, if I'm searching, even doing researches, when I'm doing researches and seeing what's going on. Almost everything they are talking about that are the good things are also in Nigeria. Almost everything. But they never talk about good things in Nigeria. 
they'll just be looking for the challenges. What is the problem in this country? That's what they will be talking about. Nigeria is not safe. Nigeria is not safe. Nigeria is not safe, and your people are here. Are your people not here? And it's not safe, and they don't come back to Ghana. And they don't come back to any other country they are supposed to go to. Anyways, in this video, I'll clearly talk about Nigerian people, Jack Pine, and Ghana people reaction. And also, all over the world, I think about all over the world, whatsoever. I've come to the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching my video, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.